What's going on guys? Today we're going to do a real quick throttle body cleaning on this uh, Mustang 3 valve 4.6. This is really easy to do. Get yourself a soft bristle brush, something that's not going to tear anything up. And a can of your favorite cheap carb throttle body cleaner. If you're having any kind of a rough idle or sluggish throttle response, a lot of times this will be the problem and a lot of times you will not get a check engine light for it. So, it's quick, it's easy, it's cheap. Let's hope we can pull this off without having to, uh, uh, it's been on here for a minute. And it's greasy. There we go. Just pop this out of the way here. And we'll take a look inside of our throttle body here, and it's, uh, it's really not bad. I don't recommend sticking something sharp in there that can scuff up the uh, throttle plates, but you can see in there, it's uh, it's a little dirty. It's really not bad at all, so this won't be too bad. So what we're going to do is this is a dual throttle body setup, which is pretty nice. What you'll do is you'll open it and you'll stick something long that can't get jammed up in there in there to hold the throttle open, all right? And you'll clean the other side. And then when you're done, you'll swap the part over to the other side to hold it open. I'll show you here in just a second. All right, so I'm using this uh, screwdriver, which has the throttle plates open fully. You get you some carb cleaner and spray liberally. And then I take my little brush and I start scrubbing and don't forget to scrub the throttle plate too um, it's dirty as well get as far down in there as you can get Spray it some more. This is a bunch of gum and varnish, and you don't want that in there. And uh, I've refrained from starting your engine for a minute or two after doing this. Go ahead and spray these off too. Because these get gummed up and nasty. And then hit it again. It's coming a lot cleaner now. Flip it over. Don't forget to clean the top side too. And we'll get up in the top, which is a little bit more difficult. But it can still be done. Do the best you can. We'll spray it out some more. And what I like to do is take my towel here and just get in here and do the best I can with it for the bottom and the top. The smoother you can get air flowing into here and the more accurate the throttle plates are, the better response you're going to have. 
and you might find out you got a much smoother idle in the process. So we'll take that out, and now we can compare the two bores. And you can clearly see the bore on the left is much cleaner than the bore on the right. Again, it's not going to be perfect. What? It's difficult, especially to get up in those corners. But what you can do is with it closed, you can hit it and do your best. There we go. You can see in there now, that's pretty damn clean in comparison to this one. I'll go ahead and clean this one up too. take our screwdriver and uh, open the other side all right so with that done release those suckers back down they look good and clean and the reason you don't want to start it right now is because you've got a lot of highly flammable fluid down in your intake uh, you wouldn't want to start it right away if this had an aluminum or a iron intake but especially because this has a plastic intake, don't start it. Um, what I suggest you do is hold those uh, throttle plates back open again. Go ahead and open them up. Let the engine sit with those wide open for a good 20-30 minutes. This stuff evaporates very quickly. In 20-30 minutes, you should have no problems. It should fire up. It may take it a second. It may idle just a little rough for a minute, but it'll clear up. I'll show you exactly what I mean when we fire this up here in 15-20 uh, more minutes. All right, so we've uh, put this back together. It's all tightened down. I've got this open because I'm doing all these videos at once and I just got through refilling the cooling system. I'm not ready to close that off yet for a while. Well, let's go ahead and fire it up. It's normal. Um, if it gets pissed off and idles rough and doesn't want to run, that's fine. And it actually fired right up. Sometimes it'll smoke. But it didn't. Good deal. It's not often everything works exactly the way it's supposed to, right? suck down all the water so we got to put more water in it but that's uh that's not part of this video there you go that is how you uh clean out your throttle body and this works on any car that has a throttle body guys car truck whatever the case is if you've got a throttle body that's how you clean it and it'll give you improved throttle response improved idle it'll just overall run better and drive better as always like comment subscribe and be safe out there